so my dear viewers it is my special and loving greetings to all of you who had been watching my video that is jacinta spoken english so so long we had done something about the basic needs to speak well in english questions and answers and about the content words about the structural words and how to make the best use of the vocabulary the knowledge which we have with our words and to put them in proper sentences some structure some structural words and also some grammatical rules all these are the basic uh, items which are needed for speaking for conveying our thoughts and feelings so long so far and so long we have done it and now we will do more and more and now i am just making a request to all of you to involve more and more that by the skills by using the skills we say always listening one thing listening reading then uh, writing then speaking no listening you can listen to these videos again and again so that you will get more ideas and you can call me and say what best can be done to improve the spoken english so listening not only my videos there are so many things to listen um, even cinemas english films few english films even will give you correct sentences good standard movies you can see some uh, tele movies something of these will when you listen even more videos about spoken english listening will always help us to speak well that is one thing and also reading now but is reading habit is gone reading habit is uh, not much found because we always look at the videos we enjoy the tv shows tv serials and all these now if we read good books our language will develop when we read when we concentrate on the uh, on our reading so it will give us a bunch of words our vocabulary will increase you know when we read a page maybe always take get into this habit a page some of the sentences in the stories in the novels and all we don't need them for our spoken english at all so a few when we go through the book at in one page just mark five sentences you know and try to read it again just five simple sentences like uh, when did you come home when did you meet your uh, nephew when are we going for the next trip to kashmir so like the something you know some ordinary sentences why are you late today uh, what is your plan for tomorrow something may be there in the novels no look into such sentences and questions and have five in your mind five sentences from each page maybe 20 sentences a day which we already know maybe need not go in for uh, rare words and phrases no some people are crazy of it right? to use some rare words which are not commonly used modern english is speaking in a simple way and short sentences for the better understanding of both speaker and the listener so we need not go in for the words which are not at all used in our day to day life just the commonly used words simple sentences maybe with a subject verb and an object and in between maybe few prepositions one preposition may be in one sentence that's quite enough to enrich our vocabulary and also spoken english so in that way listening reading and then uh, we can also write that's what i said when we uh, mark few sentences in each page maybe for five pages maybe 20 sentences or 25 sentences we can mark and we can have a diary to write it down again when we read it sure it will help us but and when we write with our own handwriting and when we just read it our own writing put in words in our own diary it will have an impact on our mind we will be able to remember we will be able to think about it and we will be able to find out what is wrong maybe maybe something is wrong some maybe a phrase is not suitable for us it is not uh, uh, to be rightly used for me then let us leave it there are so many words and phrases they let's go in for some more so in that way when you put it in words when we put it in writing it has got its own impact it has got its own 
um, result. So let us have the writing practice also and at the end after all these three items that is listening, reading, then writing, then we will start practicing the speaking, the speaking skill that is spoken English can be practiced afterwards later on. After practicing all these, our mind should be very clear with this. What are the uh, good uh, adjectives we can use at home with our friends? You speak very softly. So you, the other day you sang very melodiously. For singing we usually say melodiously. Melodious song means it is an adjective. Melodious is an adjective. You sang very melodiously. When we say melodiously, it is adverb. So when we speak, we need not say what is adjective and what is adverb, but let us have in our mind, no? So the other day when we went for a party, for a dinner program in the restaurant, you spoke very melodiously, very sweet voice you have. The way you stood on the stage was really appealing, was really impressive. So I, your voice and your position, all, had, all these have a deep impact, in some mark in my mind. It has got a deep impact in me. So like that many would have watched that. So continue to do it. Practice well in your art of singing. You are a good singer. If you have the taste to sing, if you have the talent to sing, please develop it. Go for singing classes. Go for singing practice. Have a group with you. A team can together can make it better and better. So words of appreciation and words of uh, encouragement is always good when we are in the company of our friends, even at home. You know, when we say today's uh, breakfast was good, tasty, delicious, when we tell the person who cooks, maybe mom or the maid or anybody, it was a delicious breakfast, a tasty breakfast, nutritious food, all these good words, good phrases and good adjectives, you can just go through the um, the thesaurus and also dictionary. I think some of them may not know what is thesaurus. So one person made made an inquiry to me about thesaurus. Dictionary everybody knows because in this lower classes already when we are at the, in the even first standard teachers say bring a small little pocket dictionary people know. But thesaurus is more or less like dictionary. But the thing is in uh, dictionary the meaning of a word so for example, good, the meaning will be given and the good can be used in whatever way that is also will be given. But in thesaurus, the equal words, the same words for with the meaning, the same meaning good will be found. So to learn more and more words, we can always use thesaurus, the, I giving the same idea but different words. So let us all go through the dictionary and thesaurus and enrich our vocabulary and improve our spoken English. Thank you. Bye for today.